I just bought a new UPS because the old one went bad and this is the old one. There's a few interesting parts one can get out of here. Now I'm going to say that opening up a UPS is always dangerous. They have high voltages, 110 to 220 volts inside here. If you don't know what you're doing, it can hurt you or kill you. So if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. Even if you think the battery's dead or disconnected, the circuit can still have uh, charge in the capacitors and can produce high voltage. And yeah, it's, uh, that's a bad thing. Okay, so let's get on with it. Um, the first part is this front cover. And frankly, um, yeah, it's got, uh, well, it's just got this dedicated display and those are not very useful. Um, the bottom part of this has a couple interesting things. For one, it's got a, a nice heavy duty power cord that I can cut off of here and reuse somewhere else. Uh, it's got some, you know, nice plugs like this, spade lugs. Um, back here, not very interesting, but it's got this transformer. I have never found a good use for these transformers. I mean, theoretically, there's a lot of things you could do. You could build your own inverter, but um, yeah, the, day, the way things are going these days, uh, the transformer type inverter is on the way out. Uh, they're not as efficient as uh, some of the high frequency types. So yeah, I mean, uh, the best thing I do with these is to cut them open and to take the copper wire out and use them in crystal radios or you know other projects like that that require a lot of, uh, a lot of wire. Okay, so uh, having said that, let's uh, take a close up look at this circuit board because this is where I think we're going to have a payday. Let's start with the uh, top of the circuit board and we'll go to the bottom later. This is kind of interesting. This is a uh, heat sink. And I've never seen one like this. Literally just a solid chunk of aluminum. And it's got four transistors, SCR, something like that, with some nice mounting hardware. So those are going to be worth pulling off of there. Got some spade lugs here. And then we have these big heavy duty wires with the other end of the spade lug on them. So those are something I clip off and save in my uh, utility box. Here are a couple. Uh, big fuses. I believe these are 30 amps. A, uh, a capacitor over here which might be interesting. Another capacitor, another capacitor. Chips. I don't usually mess with chips, especially proprietary things. Um, yeah, you just you can't get information on them. Okay, so moving along. Here's a nice socket. And here's a couple, I think these are 120 volt um, relays. And this is a uh, capacitor. And that's a capacitor. Diode, some nice big resistors. One, two, three, nice big resistors. A couple uh, capacitors, diode. And then these three things over here, these are 12 volt relays, so those are nice. Another pin header. And some more pins. Back over here in this corner, we have a transistor. A, uh, couple of, uh, of uh, capacitors. Yes, my uh, brain is not functioning. And then here we have a little sounder, piezoelectric sounder. So, a lot of good stuff on this, uh, on this board. Let's flip it over and see what we got on the back side. Let's start back on the same end. This is the uh, end that had that big heat sink. And, oh wow, I mean look at all this. There are, um, this is a resistor, resistor, Transistor, 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 transistor. Boy, if you're into surface mount stuff, this is a jackpot. Uh, transistor, resistor, resistor. Everything I'm seeing is either resistor or uh, transistor. Okay, working our way over here. Here's a diode. Um, yeah, really, jackpot on surface mount stuff. Transistor, transistor. Resistors on this around here. More resistors diodes, some nice big diodes, some bigger resistors. Um, these look like all resistors here if I'm not missing anything. And yeah, moving all the way down to the other end. Yeah, transistor there. Okay, moving down. 
going scanning back the other direction again. Transistor, resistor, diode, transistor. Ah, this is the back side of one of the relays. You can see the relay symbol here. And they got some resistors on there. Um, big diode. Again, another relay, another relay. And going back this way. Okay, yeah. Oh, just lots more. Lots more resistors and well marked ones too. A lot of these you'll find on boards. You'll find stuff like, you know, this diode's well marked and uh, the uh, resistors are all well marked. So that's that's a good thing. Because again, finding the marked is, uh, is a trick. And okay, so it looks like on the back side of the board, what we're going to have is we're going to have mostly uh, transistors, resistors, and a few diodes. This UPS control circuit board had a surprising number of very interesting both through hole and surface mount components and I can hardly wait to get my soldering iron out and start stripping it down for the spare parts. Remember this is nothing to be trifled with if you don't know electronics don't mess with the UPS they are dangerous but if you do it's a really good source of electronic parts. Okay well, I hope you found that useful and interesting in your home DIY electronics projects.